Hello everybody and welcome to the Bakerloo line. Welcome back to Trains and World 2, welcome back to the video. It's been too long, I know. Uh, let's pop the HUD up. Let's get my mouse sensitivity back. Let's get the train turned on. Control key on. Direction selector key in. Put you to forwards. Grab our doors. Let's get our headlights on. Let's get our saloon lighting and heat set on, gauge lights on. Let's uh, go to the back of the train. Let's get our stabling light on. And where are we going? We're going to Queen's Park. Let's set that to Queen's Park then. Let's lock up our doors. Set that to Queen's Park. Uh, I have enhancement packs on, by the way, so that's why you can hear some announcements. Uh, that you would not normally hear. Now we've got the brakes released, we can start to move. Nice. Uh, and yeah, if you haven't already caught on, I'm going to be dropping to um, sort of around two uploads a week. Um, so, yeah. Uh, this is my life's getting busier. Um, a lot busier, so uh, yeah. Unfortunately, do not have time to do what, three or four times weekly. So generally, that would consist of one live stream, one video, possibly one live stream, two videos, um, but only one live stream for the time being. Right, and the fifteen miles an hour. up to 25 miles an hour now. The speed limits trip from the start of the train in this part. Okay, nice. Off there. I'm coming up to a 30 limit soon. Uh, and when we get out into the open, you can see that this is um, a graffitied, a, um, a graffitied train. So it's not the stock uh, 72 stock, but it's so similar you won't be able to tell the difference, more or less. Okay, so much fun to drive this with rail driver as well. A bit rusty um, with my 72 stock, so I might be a bit, yeah, out with my braking. There we go. Love it. Love the announcements. Amazing. Brilliant. Perfect. Well, not perfect, but they're good. It's a shame that they're not everywhere. Well, can I mute it? No. Doesn't matter. It's a nice extra touch. Let's go full throttle as we leave. Still don't understand the high low. Yeah, it doesn't make sense, but whatever. Right, and now on the left we have the lines that come in from um, from London Road. Are my lights actually on? No, they weren't even on. Okay. I know they don't make a huge difference down here in the tunnels, but they make a difference. Okay. I think maybe we should have another metro line, Paris metro or something like that. Because I really do like the stop-start stuff, but I, I'm not necessarily all in tunnels. That's also sort of why I like the idea of a Sydney route, because there's limited tunnels. Still some tunnels, because they add variation, but there's not very many of them. Um, and, you know, driving over a long bridge that's 800 metres long. I know we have that viaduct on LGV. Speaking of which, I should, uh, should drive on LGV. Did we overrun there? Hopefully we didn't. Oh, okay, slightly. Don't know what you're talking about. 
Nothing ever happens. I'm a perfect driver. Beep, 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 beep. Lock the doors. And off we go. God, it just, it buggers off really quickly. You know, the, the interlocks are so fast. You know, whereas on other things you have to wait for the brakes to release. This, as soon as the, as soon as the interlock's good, it takes power. So you can leave it in power whilst the doors are open, and it won't take power, but as soon, then, you know, it doesn't apply the brakes, so. You can sort of get away with doing it at tunnels, but not really anywhere else, because it could roll. And that's not good. Okay, right. These are the hills that I'm talking about. Was that a speedboard? Mustn't have been. Okay, and let's go some brakes. EP Max. That's more like it. Just check. Oh, that's, that's fine. Oh, there. This is the graffiti that I'm talking about. So, uh, yeah, it's actually quite good. Except that the text is a bit fucked up. I don't know why it does that, but it does. Right, let's hop back into our cab. And shut the door. And off you go. Off you go. Come on. Brakes. There you go. Killed a bit of time there. It's alright. Uh, and I'm also well aware that Horseshoe Curve released earlier today, but uh, I I do not have the Horseshoe Curve because um, I'm not really interested and I don't like Skyhook, even though I've heard good things, or re reasonable things. Also, I've just noticed I'm rocking 140 frames a second. If I had a monitor that could go that high, it'd be bloody... This, but I've only got a 60 hertz monitor. But whatever. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform. Someone really does need to make a mod that turns the um, the PIS on. That'll be sick. You know, the next station is Lambeth North. Yeah, the next station is Waterloo. Right, 20 mile an hour low limit here. Right, let's get back up to 20. Leave it there. Would be nice if we had an ammeter, but uh, there's no ammeter provided in the cab. Because the um, you only get shown in the cab what the actual an actual driver would get shown in their cab, and an actual driver doesn't have an ammeter, so we don't get an ammeter. Which sucks, but whatever. Okay, stop now. Oh, here we go. Here's a friend. Let's just shut that off. Nice. There we go, there's our signals tripping off. 
And uh, if you have any other uh, route suggestions or anything else, please do leave them in the comments. Um, you know, I make content for you. I want to make sure that you enjoy the content. Uh, so, you know, if you're not enjoying the content, if you want me to make a specific kind, if you want me to do a specific livery, just let me know. Or if you want a more prompt answer or more prompt response, shoot me an email or... Um, or... Uh, DM me on Discord. Up to 30 miles an hour. Next stop, Oxford Circus. Platform 4. It's not too long away. I think we're a more or less dead straight line from here to there. Yep. Yeah. Uh, repeater there for the track. And we're on a really steep hill as well, so uh, that's always fun. Oh, we've got the um, real amounts, the uh, real ads, don't we? No, I don't want. There you go. I don't want your stupid Westinghouse break. Uh, let's have a look at some of the ads because I think we might have a bit of time. The Samaritans. It's oh, nice. Uh, next ad's over. Saw something over here. Oh, that's an, an ad. Okay. From Nat West. But, uh, yeah, I really like the, um, the new actual ads. It's, I'm not saying that the DTG made ads weren't good, but these are better. Please stand clear of the doors. Trying to go, train? There you go. Yes, you do. Go. Leave. Move. My interlock's done. Yeah. Train. Right, we're going to put you in shutdown. And then start you up again. Go, move. There you go. Maybe slightly late for Regent's Park, I suspect, but, you know, who cares. Now we have a quite tight left, or well, chicane kind of thing up ahead. And if anyone asks, yes, I have seen the, um, well, they're actually going to be rolled out to the Piccadilly line first, but I have seen the, um, the NTFL trains. They look very nice. Speak and span. Right, here's the other half of the chicane. There's a 30 board. Okay, so we're late for Regent's Park, but that doesn't matter. But you know, it's amazing that these tube these tube train timetables are timetabled down to the second, you know. You've gotta be there at twelve seconds, twenty two minutes past eight. It's so precise. You know, here in Sydney, if anything's yeah, I think up to three minutes. Um, early or late, and it's considered on time. So, our, according to Sydney Trains, our on-time performance is really good. But when you ask other people, well, they're, they're, um, at the, there, there are people who actually monitor, like the, the trains and such, and they know um, they know that you know, the trains actually aren't that on time. But whatever. Okay, and let's get our doors shut. Okay, 
Okay, and let's get moving. Okay, nearly up to 30 miles an hour off the throttle. I like how you can just see the signals, you know, one after the other. Uh, the next stop is Baker Street. Have your Sherlock Holmes references out. Off again there. Let's go some proper brakes now. Because I know there's a fixed red here and I don't want to trip past it. There you go. Oh, there's a another train on the other platform. And there's another train immediately behind it. Okay. So there's actually uh, the service frequency is a bit all over the shop, but you know Stonebridge Park is still completely empty. And yeah, we were promised an update, a timetable update, and we still haven't got it. There you go, signals just cleared. All right, 21 miles an hour, 22, 23, 24. Yeah, these things have really good, um, really good performance from 0 to 20, and then really piss poor performance from 30 or from 20 onwards. Uh, yeah, if you want to see me driving the um, 19. 32 stock more um, then also let me know because I can um, that's not a terrible train by any standards uh, basically if you have any route requests can you uh, yeah just let me know come on brakes are stuck on yeah do I have to release the Westinghouse Uh, I don't think so, but I'll throw it in the shutdown and off again. There you go. And go. Next stop, Edgware Road, Bakerloo Line. Not to be confused with Edgware Road on the Circle District and Hammersmith and City Lines, which is different. Just down the road, same name. Yeah, I uh, stayed at a hotel outside Edgware Road, Bakerloo, and you know, I have signs everywhere saying this is not Edgware Road, District Circle, Hammersmith City, it's down the road. Or, get a bay if you're going to those lines, just grab a train from here to Paddington, or Baker Street, because it's just a little deviation. It's nowhere near as bad a problem as it is in New York, though, where you've got like Oh dear, overrun. Shit. It's quite a bad overrun as well. We've got like a whole carriage hanging out. Um, I'll open the doors. Yeah. Yeah, got a whole ass carriage hanging out. That's also the wrong side. Okay, one moment. <laughs> it's just perfect, isn't it? My skill and ability is just flawless. No need for confusion of any sort. And go. And go. Uh, yeah, anyway, you know, in New York you've got millions of different stations. 
And when I was in New York, I've only been once. Stayed at um, basically the World Trade Center. Um, and you know, there's like three separate World Trade Center stations. One on the um, one, two, three on the A and A and C. They see the red group has one station. The blue group has another station. Uh, there's so many different. I think the brown group, the J and no, J, J and Z lines have another one. There's so much stuff going on. Um, and then there's Fulton Street Station, which is just like if you have, it's just a couple of platforms that are within like 300 meters of each other. So they just stuck them all together. But it's like it's worse than than Green Park walking wise. You know, there's like so like almost a kilometer of walking if you want to go from one platform to another it's stupid right here we are at Paddington station uh, it's on quite a sharp curve so I got a really low speed limit reverse lockout speed control Don't know what any of this does. I know what trip cock reset does though. But it has no function because as soon as you get a trip cock activation, the game ends. Come on, there you go. Go, train, move. Now we need some more TFL stuff, um, but I think probably, I think Crossrail will be a pretty good bet actually, because um, they've, yeah, I, I think Crossrail would be nice, um, maybe excluding the Abbey Wood branch, but the you know the automatic section in the middle, you just run auto, but you can still drive it manually out in the countryside and you know it's a first of entry unit either that or london overground possibly the lee valley lines because they're pretty unique in terms of lo um or if not them um then the um north um north west and goblin lumped together into one big thing Hello, dog. Okay, break one, break two, break three, break four. No, oh. I really hate the two different break methods. Really hate it. Wiper, run, park. Let's get our doors to locked. Okay, and got to let that come back up to pressure. There you go. Okay. Sticking at 30 miles an hour. Next stop, made of Vale. Now we're getting into the sort of suburby type areas. Um, yeah. There's no more interchanges with any other tube lines from here on out. There is with the overground, obviously. There's parallel running and Wilston Green with the North London line, but... And there's a yeah no other tube line interchange. We do cross. Do we cross? I think we cross the um, the Met.
Uh, okay, let's get brakes on. Get full brakes. Brake squeal. So yeah, that's the that's the that, and then Queens Park. Do we cross? Yeah, just uh, between Kenton and South Kenton, uh, we cross the um, the Metropolitan, not the Jubilee Low. Jubilee Low, Jubilee though. Uh, and obviously we pass over the um, Chiltern Main Line. But uh, yes, we've got Kilburn Park and then Queen's Park. Okay, so you can see that 900 yard 15 limit that's coming into Queen's Park. Okay, let's get a bit more power. And let's pull in for our stop here. Oh man, we're quite late. Oh, who cares? Okay, and doors. Go. Okay, and next and final stop for this service and this video will be Queen's Park, unless we're putting it in the sheds. Oh, yeah, we're putting it in the sheds, but... Uh, Okay, and here we come out of the tunnels. We can see the graffiti in all of its glory. The centerpiece of this train. Okay, and we'll let the speed. No, we won't. We'll add a bit of our own power. Power? Yes, that's the right word. Is there graffiti on this side? Yes. Let's go a bit of power. Is the other side better for lighting? I, oh, it is, yeah. Okay. Or not. Let's not span this as well, because we have... some spad here that we don't want to do. Okay, and we're going to stick this back to not in service. And not in service. And we're going to get it out of the road because we might have something up our ass. Or not. No. Got nothing back till there. Oh well. And take a bit more time with our screenshot gathering then. Okay. Let's maybe not get people in the way. Or maybe let's get people in the way. Who cares? Who gives? Uh, 
Um, no, I can't get through there, can I? No, I have to go through the sheds. Yay. Let's go a bit more power. God, it's a very graffitied train, isn't it? Very graffitied. Okay, let's not be super slow. Got to pull more or less right up to these buffer stops. Um, let's, yeah. Got to be way out. Sort of want to see, because I think, you know, these are movable objects here, but I sort of want to see what happens if I slowly bash into them. There's a bit of fun. Why not? It'd be nice if, you know, you could knock them down. No. Oh, okay. Stop the mission then. See if I care. <laughs> Alright. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. We're so close to 1,000 subs. Um... And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.